been voted the sexiest man in the world. Oh, no! Because <laughs> today, <laughs> for one day only, Cheggers gets to play a bit of rock with John Bon Jovi. See you in a minute, folks. <laughs> All to go, folks. Hi, you're watching Music News. Music News. Middle of a worldwide tour. How's it going at the moment? Couldn't be better. Yeah, you seem a little bit on edge at the moment. Why is that? I just would much rather be sitting in the parking lot of Wembley Stadium really? than a hotel suite. Does the buzz get you, though? I'm very excited. This is the one we've been looking forward to. Right. Uh, do you like to sort of like be on top of things then? I mean, like overseeing the whole plan? No, the I just want to or... smell the air. Really? Yeah. yeah. It's sort of like a prize fight. So how does the air smell at the moment? How have things been going? It stinks, and that's good. You know, that's that adrenaline rush you get before a, a big one. You know, like three nights at Wembley. <laughs> What about the rest of the family? I mean, do you take them on the road with you? Sometimes. You know, they're here. Do you find having the family around a bit of a distraction sometimes? I mean, no. does one become the father on the road? Well, you know, I mean, you, you do things, like I say, and I was up this morning watching your show, which, you know, typically I might not have been, but um, um, I was up because, you know, everybody was up. So you go, OK, great. And then you go back to bed. Are you a family man? I mean, do you get involved in sort of changing nappies, that sort of thing? I haven't done it for a while, but I'm I'm very capable. Yeah, I've done it. And what, what did you take them to the gigs with you as well? Or? They've been just to a couple. Yeah, just to a couple. And I believe you actually get your fans up on stage with you. Why? I've always had a feeling like I was the luckiest guy, you know, that won a contest somewhere, you know, and. Uh, and the, the closest way of letting anybody actually see what it's like in my shoes was to invite them on stage. And typically it would somewhat be a distraction to go, excuse me, to these 72,000 people. I'm going to bring up Joey here from the <laughs> third row. And so what we do is we, we have these bars. And we invite a couple hundred people during the course of the night to get picked out of the audience at Oh, random. I thought it was one or two. <laughs> no, no, during the course of the night there'll, there'll be 200. And you've moved into the world of acting now. Tell me about your new movie, Moonlight and Valentino. I never wanted to be an actor. I never aspired to be an actor, but this opportunity came up and I, I, I jumped at it. So what was it like working with such big stars like Kathleen Turner and Whoopi Goldberg? They, all the people involved in it um, were great at what they do, and I had absolutely no experience at what they do, uh, other than, you know, years of lessons. So, um, practically speaking, I was in awe, but when you're there, you're there to do a job, and you know you, you better be able to do it, you know, or else don't don't think for a moment these girls and the director wouldn't tell you, see ya, you know. There's a, there's a flight home. You won a globe for your music in Young Guns. Do you think you win an Oscar for this? <laughs> no, no, you don't have to worry about that. You know, I'd probably lose out to Wayne's World or something. <laughs> Are you a romantic? Yeah, sure. I mean, I proposed on my knee and asked her dad's permission and did all that kind of stuff. I'm a pretty romantic guy. Our Prime Minister, John Major, has just uh, given up his job for a bit. Do you fancy taking over? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't make enough money and he has to work way too hard. I don't need that position. <laughs> Excellent. Thanks very much. Um,